The Trump administration is facing a deadline today to move migrant children out of detention and return them to their parents. Lindsay Duncombe joins us from Washington with more on this. So the big question, Lindsay, there are a lot of children to be reunited. Will Washington meet the deadline? Washington will meet the deadline of the children it says are eligible to be reunited with their family. So it's kind of a mixed scenario. There were 2,500 or so children older than five years old that were expected to be reunified by today. More than a thousand reunifications have happened and there are hundreds scheduled to take place today as we come closer to the deadline. But that doesn't include everyone. There are some families in that number that are not eligible because of safety reasons, because the federal government doesn't believe they actually were the parents of the children. And then for just under 500 families, there's a bigger problem. And that problem is that the parents were deported before they were reunified with their children. In some cases, these parents say they signed papers quickly. They thought that by going out of the country, they would be able to be reconnected with their kids, but that didn't happen. And that's an especially problematic number because it's very difficult to track down those families if they're in Honduras or Guatemala. So that is going to be a continuing challenge for the government. However, the judge in this case who put the deadline in place in the first place at a status hearing earlier in the week commended the government for the work that has been done so far with these reunifications, calling the real scramble to match these kids to their parents all over the country. Remarkable. And even the ACLU that has been fighting this in court and trying to make these unif reunifications happen is saying that there is success here. Here's one of their lawyers. The case was about reunifying children. If we have 1,600 families back together by the 26th, it doesn't excuse what the government did, but we are going to be enormously pleased that children are in their parents' arms. So certainly the families where the parents have already left is going to be an ongoing challenge. And then there's the question about what happens next to these families. For many of them, the parents get an ankle bracelet and they are expected to turn up at an immigration hearing at some point in the future. Some of them, though, already have deportation orders. And that may mean a very difficult, very quick decision whether the parents allow their children to stay here as unaccompanied alien minors, perhaps a chance at a better life, or bring them back. And the timelines around those kinds of decisions, which are happening very quickly, is something that the ACLU is hoping to make longer for the families forced to make them. Lindsay, thanks for the latest. Lindsay Duncombe in Washington.